Let's see. It's a wonderful way to travel. Better than nothing. Clear the way. Everyone's going to hear you coming. Scrap makes top weapons. Subtle it is not. Found Bionucleus 8C. These towers, let's see.
great view from up here. This is more like it. electric performance.
down to the stump. Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up. Up and away. Look at you, all pooped out. From this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel. Better pumped out than flushed down. Don't let it happen again. with a throw-up. Can it really get any better than that? He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Oh, yeah. Gizmo will always make time for you. Happy hab, Dope I do. Says you.
That's an intact plant hut over there. Wonder what's growing in it. a mind monitor from the days gone. A device that blip screened smart matter. Wouldn't be surprised if it still works. Might keep you from taking one to the... Looks like the inputters need to be linked to get the mind monitor to boot up. Over matter, software over hardware. Success is peace of mind. Breathe in that day shine.
Looks like some solid wood scrap there. Small things for your big ideas. I don't want to catch it. A potato pal. Says they've been waiting for you to help them liberate the outpost. Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. Says scouts spotted a moth nest close to the outpost. If you destroy that, the moths should infest the place looking for a new home. Is it right? Ooh, wee, wee. That's the idea. 
If everything works out as planned, the moths should cause a buzzing tumult. more moths nest there go the moths toward the outpost they're good and mad the outpost belongs to your tribe now he says you made them weaker but they won't give up your Sifu thanks you your tribe is growing stronger Pants would be the bare minimum. He says you did a great job capturing the rival's second outpost. You've earned the privilege of wearing the tribe's colors. Believes you'll make them all proud too.
Get under that sky while you still can. Check out that shop area over there. Wonder what they used to sell. nearby. You got moves. Check out that silo. Might be empty, but maybe not all empty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, there's some rubber scrap for you. Earth in Earth outpost. The Jagni tribe claimed this forever. Let's see. There's the tyrant who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his tribe to lose as they're the ones that are ruthless. But now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. Needs a logical reason for him to surrender the outpost without a fight. He can recognize the strength of a good argument and agrees it's for the best. He'll surrender the outpost to you. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. Says it will be a relief to finally have it over. There's still time before the dawn. That's the Jagni tribe's fault. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. They've positioned a storm tower near the fort that you'll use to get over the wall. However, you need to prop up its wheelhouse first to stabilize the situation. Platz. Says you don't have to knock to get inside.
already dripping wet. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. You need to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life to truly become free. <laughs> The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light.
a glory shiny day. That's a pyro sizzler right there. Bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, fear. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. You shouldn't challenge someone that has nothing left to lose. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. Hello? You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. Labo? He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. It's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. 
Sakramorti. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. You can't lose this war. If you get the ending wrong, the effort it took to get there was in vain. A proper ending, however, provides closure. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. That little voice inside that lets you know right from wrong. Don't go against it if you want to enjoy life without fear of death. It's the Jagni Staff. The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. 